Hello everyone, in this week's After Effects scripting quick tip tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use menu commands. Now these are commands that you can search for in any version of After Effects by using a simple function and these will allow you to run anything that you can see on the contextual menus in After Effects. So I could search for add exposure keyframe, add an expression, track and mocha AE, or I could go down to here and look at these options. I could go to keyframe assistant and look for any of these. And these are all functions that you can't really do with normal scripting, but using app.execute command, we can essentially run commands based on these menus inside of After Effects. So today we're gonna to be creating a little script that allows you to use the undo contextual menu, which will undo the last bit of actions you did, as well as a button that will open up Mocha to allow for tracking, which obviously is not a function that you can script. Today we're gonna to be using a guide that you can find by going to Video Pro Coalition or Googling David Torno After Effects menu command IDs. If you scroll down, you can see there's a bunch of menu guides. The newest version is CC 2015, and essentially it's going to tell you how to use it. And all of these numbers may vary by what version of After Effects you're using, but each of these will tell you what number you need to put in to get the desired effect. So if you wanted to say add a font from a type kit, you could run the code 4017, and it's going to run that same menu function. So you can go through that entire document and have a look yourself, but let's look at how we can do it ourselves with scripting. So to start off to see how we can get these commands ourselves, all we have to do is run a command called app, Dot find menu command ID and inside of that we put in the name of the action we want to find the number for so if I just pick a random one let's say if I want to know the thing for let's say I want to know the shortcut for open in essential graphics so if I type exactly what this says right here and I'm gonna double check that the case is correct it needs to be a lowercase I if I run this it's gonna give me the code 10425 so now with that being said, I can go below and say app.execute command. And then inside of there, I can simply put the number. So now if I go ahead and run this, it's now going to open up essential graphics by using that code that we just got from it. So the point is that you can get this stuff on your own uh, by using find command ID. And it does vary sometimes for different versions of After Effects. So in this case, it was 10425. Let's go ahead and do it for our undo button and mocha. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and have the basic code here. This is what we're gonna start off with in this little quick tutorial. And it's just a simple UI with a button for undoing and mocha. All we need to do is get the numbers for the undo function and the mocha function. So to get undo, I actually just referred to the guide and I searched for undo. And since there's 42 different results, at first I wasn't sure if it was gonna be the right one, but if I go up, it's nicely organized where it says it's under the edit menu and undo. So in After Effects, if I go to edit and I want to do this undo. So what I can do is just go ahead and find the menu command ID for undo. And that looks like it's 2371. So what I'm gonna do is grab my undo button and say on click. When we click on it, we're going to initialize a simple little function and we're gonna say app.execute command and we're gonna use that number there. So now if I refresh my script and hit undo, you can see it's not doing the right numbers. So you can see that if I use the ones that I search for and it's a common word like undo, you might run into some troubles. So sometimes it's best to refer just to the guide which has uh, some of the basic ones and undo gets repeated a lot in After Effects. So just use uh, 16 for that. And we can do something like change our exposure value here, run it and undo and we can go back to our original value. And then lastly, to finish things off, let's do our mocha button, dot on click. And I'll go ahead and just copy and paste this line here, and let's get the code for mocha. The text is track in mocha AE. So if I say track in mocha AE and I run it, I'm gonna get the number 5008. So let's go ahead and paste that into our mocha button. If I run it and hit mocha, now we're gonna go ahead and load up Mocha just as we wanted. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to find menu command IDs and use the menu command ID to do a lot of functions in After Effects that aren't built into scripting itself. So I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave the thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you guys next time.